North Korea has told South Korea's presidential office that its nuclear test site will be shut down next month. And to show that it is serious, the regime will even invite experts and journalists to witness it all happen. Also from the north, Pyongyang says it's going to resync its time zone with South Korea starting May 5th. Our Kim Hesong reports. The presidential office of Cheong Ade announced Sunday that North Korea has agreed to shut down its nuclear test site and allow an inspection next month. North Korean leader Kim Jong Un said during the Inter Korean summit that he would close the nuclear test site located in the northern part of the North in May. To reveal this transparently to the international community, the North said it will invite experts and journalists from South Korea and the U.S. The press secretary said Kim played down speculation that North Korea was closing down the Pungeri test site because it is not functioning, saying it is in fact still in good condition. He added that President Moon welcomed the proposal and that the two leaders agreed to discuss details of the shutdown as soon as preparations are made. The North Korean leader also reportedly said that when he sits down with President Trump, the U.S. leader will learn that he is not someone who would target the South, the Pacific or the United States with nuclear weapons, adding that Pyongyang would not need nuclear weapons once trust is built with Washington and the U.S. promises non-aggression and an end to the Korean War. According to the Blue House, North Korea has pledged to stop the use of military force and said no more blood will be shed on the Korean Peninsula. Another agreement was that North Korea would change its time zone back to the same as South Korea's. The North Korean leader said seeing the two clocks at the peace house showing Seoul time and Pyongyang time was heartbreaking and he suggested unifying the two time zones. In August 2015, the North created its own Pyongyang time by setting the clock 30 minutes behind the South. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.